Why is consciousness immortal? Consciousness is one of the greatest mysteries of human existence. While science has made significant progress in understanding the workings of the brain and its relationship to perception and cognition, the fundamental nature of consciousness remains elusive. The question of whether consciousness can be considered immortal is one that has fascinated philosophers, scientists, and spiritual seekers for centuries. There are several perspectives that suggest consciousness is not merely a transient byproduct of the physical body, but rather something that transcends material existence. One of the strongest arguments for the immortality of consciousness is the idea that it is not inherently tied to the brain. While neuroscience has demonstrated that certain brain structures are associated with conscious experience, it has not been able to explain how subjective awareness arises from mere electrical and chemical activity. This suggests that consciousness may exist independently of the brain, using it as a conduit rather than being generated by it. If consciousness is not bound to the physical body, then it follows that it may continue to exist beyond physical death. The concept of consciousness persisting beyond death is supported by numerous accounts of near-death experiences. Individuals who have been clinically dead for short periods often report vivid experiences that include a sense of detachment from the body, traveling through tunnels of light, and encounters with deceased loved ones. These experiences are difficult to explain through purely biological mechanisms especially when they involve verifiable perceptions of events occurring outside the body. While skeptics argue that such experiences are merely hallucinations caused by oxygen deprivation, the consistency and complexity of these reports suggest that consciousness may have an existence beyond the constraints of the brain. Another perspective that supports the immortality of consciousness comes from quantum physics. Some interpretations of quantum mechanics suggest that consciousness plays a fundamental role in shaping reality. The famous double-slit experiment demonstrates that particles behave differently depending on whether they are being observed. This has led some physicists to propose that consciousness is not merely an emergent property of matter, but rather an intrinsic aspect of the universe itself. If consciousness is a fundamental feature of reality rather than a product of the brain, then it is conceivable that it continues to exist beyond the lifespan of an individual organism. Philosophical traditions across cultures have long held the belief that consciousness is eternal. Many religious and spiritual traditions assert that an individual's consciousness persists after death in some form, whether as a soul, a reincarnated entity, or as part of a greater universal consciousness. Hinduism and Buddhism, for example, propose that consciousness undergoes cycles of rebirth continuously evolving across lifetimes. Similarly, mystical traditions in Christianity, Islam, and other faiths describe an afterlife in which consciousness continues its journey beyond the physical plane. These traditions offer insights that reinforce the idea that consciousness is not limited to the temporal constraints of a single human lifetime. Some scientists and thinkers propose that consciousness is part of a universal field, much like the electromagnetic field that permeates space. This idea aligns with the concept of panpsychism, which suggests that consciousness is a fundamental aspect of reality present in all things. If this is the case, then individual consciousness may not be isolated, but rather a manifestation of a larger, interconnected whole. When a person dies, their individual consciousness might merge back into this greater field, much like a drop of water returning to the ocean. In this way, consciousness may be seen as immortal, not in the sense of an unchanging personal identity, but as an eternal aspect of existence itself. Furthermore, the notion that consciousness is immortal aligns with the idea of the multiverse. Some interpretations of modern physics propose that there are infinite parallel realities each slightly different from the next. If consciousness is not confined to a single reality but can shift between different versions of existence, then death may not be the end of experience but rather a transition to another plane of awareness. This idea resonates with many metaphysical traditions that speak of different dimensions of existence, where consciousness continues its journey in ways that are beyond ordinary perception. While materialist perspectives argue that consciousness ceases to exist with the brain, 
This assumption is based on the inability to measure or detect consciousness outside of physical structures. Just as radio waves exist, even when no radio is turned on to receive them, consciousness may persist in forms that current scientific tools are not yet able to perceive. The limits of scientific understanding should not be mistaken for definitive proof that consciousness is purely a product of the brain. Many aspects of the universe remain mysterious, and the possibility that consciousness transcends death should not be dismissed simply because it does not fit within the current scientific paradigm. In exploring the immortality of consciousness, it is important to recognize that human perception is limited. Just as a blind person may be unable to perceive light, the physical senses may not be capable of directly perceiving the full nature of consciousness. Consciousness itself may operate on levels beyond what the human brain can comprehend. If consciousness is indeed immortal, then what we experience in physical life may be only a fraction of a much larger continuum of existence. This would mean that death is not an end, but a transition to another state of being, one that may be as rich and complex as the life we know. The possibility of consciousness being immortal carries profound implications for how we understand life and existence. If consciousness continues beyond physical death, then the fear of annihilation may be misplaced. Instead of viewing death as an absolute end, it may be seen as a doorway to another form of awareness. This perspective has been echoed by sages, philosophers, and mystics throughout history, who have spoken of the continuation of the self beyond bodily dissolution. While the exact nature of what lies beyond remains unknown, the weight of philosophical, scientific, and experiential evidence suggests that consciousness is far more enduring than the fragile bodies it inhabits. The question of consciousness and its immortality is one that will likely continue to be explored for generations. While materialist science has yet to fully accept the idea that consciousness exists independently of the brain, Emerging evidence from various fields points to the possibility that consciousness is not bound by time or space. Whether through spiritual insight, scientific exploration, or personal experience, humanity continues to grapple with the mystery of consciousness. If consciousness is indeed immortal, then understanding its nature is one of the most important inquiries we can pursue, for it speaks to the very essence of who we are and what it means to exist.